Refillable brush pens come with synthetic or natural hair filaments. Let's look at how to use these with your choice of refillable inks. The Pentel brush pen is one of my favorites. I've had mine for many years. The cartridges are easy to uh, replace and compact to carry. It's comfortable to hold and the fine tip gives you a variety of marks. If you draw slow, you get crisp lines. You can also use the side of the brush for large dry brushing. Working slow, you get dark, rich lines. You can also get thick, thin lines, very expressive. Having the ink dispensed from the cartridge inside the pen is so convenient. You don't have to stop to reload your brush. There's no drips or messes. It really flows quite nicely. For this reason, one of the best drawing techniques for brush pens is the contour line. A contour drawing is more sophisticated than simply outlining. In a contour drawing, your brush will go around the subject, but it will also travel across the subject, creating volume and following marks and designs of your subject. In this case, we're doing a tabby cat, and you can see that I'm going across the body that catches the lines of the tabby. I'm also creating a volume in the hip area. So across and around the outside is what contour drawing is about. You can see that my brush is working with the tip and also with the edge. Using the edge, you get kind of a dry brush, broken line, and going back to the tip quickly for fine details. The expressive lines that can be created with a brush pen are really helpful for artists who feel their drawing style is too tight or too specific. The brush pen's lyrical approach to edges and mark making is certainly a pleasure to work with. Having a tool that is compact and convenient and no mess is ideal for urban sketching and travel. So make sure you keep a brush pen with you wherever you go. A close-up look at the smooth paper in the sketchbook, we can see the brush pen has fine detail lines as well as darker broken brush strokes, so very versatile. There are many inexpensive plastic brush pens, plastic body, plastic filament, um, easy to refill. If you've got a steady hand, you can just use a small pitcher. I prefer to use a syringe. I find it gives me a lot more control and it's a little less messy, so just Pull the water up and squish it into the bladder of the pen. One thing to note about brush pens is they thread the opposite way you expect. So counterclockwise is how you tighten a brush pen. Having a brush pen full of water is certainly handy for watercolors or watercolor crayons, watercolor pencils. Um, instead of having a whole container of water in your travels, you can just carry a small brush pen. The Pentel brush pen is waterproof. Now you can catch it while it's still wet and blend it with more water using another brush. But once it's dry, the Pentel brush pen ink is waterproof, which means it's indelible, not gonna smear with any water that you put on it. So if you want an ink that will blend with water, you can fill up your own. In this case, I'm selecting a gray watercolor, a liquid watercolor called Equiline. Um, I like it as a nice light tone to contrast with my dark outline. Again, just fill the brush. And to get it started, sometimes it's a bit stubborn. You may have to tap it slightly. It seems obvious to just squish the brush to get the ink flowing up to the tip, but be careful. 
Sometimes it can spill out over the threads. I find an easy way is to just stick it in a bit of water, get that capillary action starting, and the water molecules will draw the ink out of the pen really quickly. Here I'm just starting it on a bit of cloth and then taking it to my drawing when I'm comfortable with it. Now I can take my gray ink and just dust it in where I want the shadows to be. It looks like I've blended the black, but it's really the gray ink doing all of the work. You can, of course, fill up many different brush pens with all your colors and have the convenience of a brush pen throughout your whole painting. There are many kinds of calligraphy inks or fountain pen inks that may be used in a brush pen. Some inks settle, so uh, looking for um, cartridges that have a little ball inside them so that you can shake the ink well while it's in the pen is important. And the platinum brush pens do have this little ball inside the cartridge. The refilling procedure is the same. Depending on how small the opening is in the cartridge, you may have to get a smaller pipette or even a syringe. Pipettes are easy to clean and you can use them over and over again. It can be a bit messy the first few times you try it, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And once the cartridge is in place, it's easy to keep the pen clean. Starting these pens is the same. Try not to, um, you know, slam the ink to the front of the brush tip. It might spill out. So start it slowly. You can tap a little bit to see if there's any air bubbles in there. And sometimes just capping it, leaving it standing up and setting it aside will work. So this brush has a natural weasel hair, very fine. Here we're using it on rough paper and you can see that lovely broken texture showing through. Having a brush that's got the ink inside it means you never have to stop. You always have that long, long, long flowing line. Uh, wonderful for quick sketches, certainly a time saver and lots of beautiful details can be accomplished quickly. Platinum brush pens are high quality brush pens made in Japan. They are available in blue and brown in weasel hair. And there's also a synthetic version. Very nice, a little bit less expensive, a little bit more durable, not quite as a fine line, but a great practical tool. I am a fan of brown inks sepia tone inks and walnut inks so i have a range that i keep loaded in a brush pen here we're going to load a, a bright a flat tipped um, brush it is the same the pipette to fill it threading it counterclockwise The body of a brush pen is so squishy, you kind of want to start it by squeezing, but be careful, you might push the ink up over the threads and make a real mess. The best way is to dip the brush in a bit of water and let that capillary action start the pen. A flat brush is good. You can fill in large areas. You can also turn it on its edge and get long lines and little details. When you first get your pen, take it for a walk and see all the different marks and lines you can make. With a variety of brush pens to choose from, you're sure to find one to fit your budget. We welcome you to visit paintspot.ca for these beautiful materials and more.